What's up guys, it's Maxwell today with another episode of Clan War Life. It's actually been a while since we had the last episode of that, but um, yeah, today is the day where we bring it back. So um, right now I'm hanging out in FPC Germany. Um, so we got a clan war going on against um, FPC Hispania and I'm gonna try to catch a couple of raids live for you guys. Um, just wanna bring you up to date uh, with the um, standing so far as you can see the germany flag behind me is in full effect as well so definitely had to bring that out just for this um this video and maybe for the recap also maybe we have something else for the recap as well we're gonna have to see so uh, stay tuned for that so um yeah we are through with the knights so the knights are cleared uh, i know a lot of these videos are about um Town Hall 9 hits, but uh, today we're actually gonna have quite a few Town Hall 10 and 11 hits because actually we have um, only two Town Hall 9 hits left. Those are both gonna be scouts by Stavi right here and then by um, Tony. And all the rest are gonna be Town Hall 10 and 11 hits. I still have both my attacks as well, of course, so um, gotta donate. Always gotta be friendly with the clan mates, guys. Um, so yeah, we might uh, actually see me attacking live in this video as well. We're gonna have to see and just see how things pan out. Only three and a half hours left, guys, and 20 attacks left for FPC Germany, so um, definitely some work to do. As far as the standings go, they have two start, two of our 11s, failed on uh, the other two, and we have two start, two, and failed once. So um, they've got uh, two successful dips now on our five and six, and... Um, this one is was a dip as well, so three successful dips, and we have uh, one 10v10, uh, actually two 10v10s, uh, this one right here by uh, Ogre, and then this one right here by uh, Motke on number 14. So, um, yeah, things are pretty even, uh, maybe we are a little bit ahead just because we have those two 10v10s, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out a little bit, wait for action, and be back with you guys whenever we, ha we have a live attack, so um, yeah, let's see who goes in next. All right, guys, finally we have a live one. We have uh, TGIF coming in right here for the 10v10 against number six. So we're going to have to see. Actually, let me. That's a bit better. All right. Um, so, yeah, coming in right here with a Queen Charge and Laloon. I actually had qu uh, to wait quite a while, which of course means that the action is only going to get more intense from now on. So, um, yeah, there goes the Queen. She's doing all right so far. A couple of minions are already funding, and Archer is grabbing that um, builder hut up at 12 o'clock. The wall break is perfect. The queen is gonna move right in. Um, looks like we're gonna have a jump for the queen, and maybe the king joining up with her. We're gonna have to see um, how he's gonna do it. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty interesting. Or maybe he's gonna enter with king and bolas somewhere around here for that inferno. Don't know. We're gonna have to see. Um, so the Inferno is locked on now, so he's gonna need the ability, there she goes. Okay, Clan Castle is coming out, is the Queen still in Inferno range? Yes, she is, but she steps out of it, that's great. That's actually very, very fortunate. Um, what is he gonna use the King for? Hmm. The Queen is doing an excellent job right there. Okay, there goes the King. Just a little Kiwi walk around the outside, I'm assuming. So that should be another Lava out in the Clan Castle then. Queen is gonna bust through the wall and get another air defense. Okay, there goes the jump spell, so maybe Bolas in the clan castle. Um, let's see. The jump spell was definitely meant to lead the king in, but the king is gonna grab the Tesla farm instead, which is of course um, also a great thing of him to do. It's getting a little bit close on time though. He has to start Laloon relatively soon now, or it will definitely be a time fail. Being very patient here, so the queen is gonna get that next air defense. Oh, I see enemy queen is still up. He definitely wants to get enemy queen since he has no skelly spell. Only a minute left, man. You gotta start with Laloon now. Come on, get the Laloon going. Um, no, he's gonna wait for the queen to grab more expos. This charge is taking way too long, guys. And looks like queen is gonna die now as well. No, she's gonna get enemy queen. Okay, 43 seconds left. We have two haste spells. We have... Um, I guess two lava hounds and a bunch of balloons, but this is definitely gonna be a time fail, guys. 60% um, of the base are destroyed and only 30 seconds left. Definitely a cool plan, but uh, just not able to work out on time. So yeah, good try to TGIF. Nice attack, but <clears throat> not gonna work out, unfortunately. So 
Um, but I think pretty much all the black bombs are revealed. Teslas are all revealed, of course. So, yeah, good try, but not gonna work out this time. Actually, didn't have the damage to kill the base either. So, Lalaloon, I guess, could have been a little bit better. Maybe he meant to come from another side as well, but gonna be an 81% one star. So, nothing gained here. And yeah, let's wait for the next attack then. And we have another life attack, guys. We have, um, who do we have? We have uh, Tamo coming in actually right here for this one. Uh, aka Jonas Vo with this account um, and it's a dip 11v10 so we're gonna have to see how he is doing he's doing Laloon so that's definitely um, nice uh, not to see only Volar Witch attack so uh, we're gonna have to see what he can do so it looks like he's gonna suicide um, his heroes for hopefully the Inferno that was the goal gonna need to get that now before the Lava Hound approaches and looks like he's not gonna get the Inferno so only one air defense out of the way and the rest is gonna have to be um, Laloon all the way so let's see he has two Skelly spells for the Queen two max Skelly spells um, Poison is already down on her there's the Rage spell there go the Skelly spells looks like the Queen is dying very quickly which is of course good but she jumped the wall that is not good um, Let's see, the Warden is set to air for this attack as well. And there goes the ability, lot of balloons, low health, so very smart Warden ability. And now he's gonna use the heal spell probably. Yeah, there it goes right before he enters the second Inferno. And this should be an overkill actually, so I uh, did not get the Inferno, but uh, one air defense was all he needed for this one. Queen still has her ability, we have some cleanup in the corners, uh, not gonna be a time fail, so yeah. This is an overkill, great job to Tamo getting it done right here. On number 7 of FPC, Hispania. So yeah, there go all the balloons onto the last um, Inferno Tower, onto the Clan Castle. Queen has now used her ability, uh, but she's gonna be pretty useless for the rest of this raid because she's stuck behind all of those walls, but that doesn't matter. The King is actually still alive as well, so all three heroes alive at the end of this attack and nice dip right here by Tamo for the triple okay so let's check the map um actually we're gonna have a couple more attacks pretty soon flossy is gonna go in on number 10 so we are probably gonna be able to catch that one as well he just gave me the heads up and um yeah so we got uh, one dip now and two 10v10 so definitely looking good and i'll be right back with the next action all right guys we have the next life attack and we have flossy coming in as i already mentioned <clears throat> he's taking on number 10 and looks like we have another laloon so no bowler witch attack for this one which uh, definitely would have been my attack of choice for this base but uh, flossy is definitely a very solid player so i guess uh, he's gonna absolutely destroy this one so looks like he's gonna get a little bit of a uh, half naked queen walk there with the king tanking and then gonna get one air defense out of the way an archer tower and uh, wizard tower he already got the wizard tower so um creating a nice funnel for uh, looks like he's gonna maybe he's gonna do the spam laloon or maybe a bit more surgical let's see um looks relatively surgical so far so um, there go the two laloons there goes the air ward he has three lava hounds for this one and i think i saw 29 balloons definitely something close to that Actually, I'm doing a really bad job of sitting in the middle, guys. Excuse me. Yeah, obviously, still getting used to um, recording with the face cam, so that's why I always have to look up and check as well. But um, hope you don't mind. So, still has the warn ability, and yeah, this is an overkill, as I already mentioned. Probably gonna swag the warn ability. No, there he goes. Flossy is a good spot. Um, he doesn't need to swag. And um, yeah, the base is dead at this point. Um, this is the point in time where. If I were recording a replay, which of course I would not do because it's a dip, where I would be um, fast uh, putting the, pushing the fast forward button, but in this case, of course, we cannot do that. So we are gonna enjoy the rest of Flossy's glory and the last six percent of this base going down. Um, he had Skelly spells to kill the queen, and they are gonna um, go through that wall and. Um, work on that imaginary wall buster achievement for friendly clan war so yeah there goes another triple for flossy two for two on dips right now people are only waiting for me to screw up the the raid again 
Uh, that's definitely gonna happen soon. Um, <laughs> now we're gonna have to see, but I might actually attack relatively soon. I'm just getting uh, checking in with one of our co leaders uh, for feedback for a base. So I hope I can attack soon. I would definitely show it live if it is within reasonable time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to see what happens next. Okay, and there we have another one, Busty, actually coming in for a nuke right here on number eight. So looks like we are gonna have another La Loon attack. So let's see how he's going to do on this one. Um, we actually had a video for this. <laughs> so uh, FPC Hispan Hispania uh, did not need to change up their base, they felt. So I'm going to come in with uh, Bolas over here. There is the Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. So the Queen is going to be suicided for this air defense right there. And then, as I said, coming in with Bolas and Gollum over here. He's going to jump in over here. Um, yeah, there we go get that um, air defense out of the way and then inferno tower and the queen and the rest should be a pretty easy laloon then laloon is going to be started from down here at uh, around about five o'clock so yeah there go the bowlers the warden is going to um, be very useful with the ability safe splash from wizard tower inferno tower and that um, bomb tower bomb of course so yeah at this point he's good to go with laloon so i expect him to start any moment now at the bottom side right here as you can see um, the top side is already pretty much dead and uh, yeah well um, waiting quite a while okay there we go Busty is moving in now he's got three lava hounds for two remaining air defenses so that should be plenty of tanking a little bit light on the loons actually so we're gonna have to see how that is going to work out for him there goes a perfect free spell onto inferno tower tesla air targeting expo and that is all wrecked within a uh, very few moments but right after and there goes another Lava Hound for the back end side and four more balloons so yeah this should be a nice triple as well so three for three for dips um, unfortunately I could not do my attack yet just because of uh, yeah sort of the scheduling with um, who attacks what and stuff so I actually have some time to stick around so that's why I am going to wait a little bit and see what the other guys do uh, I may get a tunnel 11 versus 11 attempt though for it in the end. We're gonna have to see if that, uh, if I should get that and that uh, would be successful. You're of course gonna see it in a recap, but um, yeah, if you are curious about my performance, I'm definitely gonna give you um, an update on that in the recap as well. So that was the third dip for us. Perfect on dips so far. We've actually tied up the score now with two less attacks, but uh, Hispania hasn't failed uh, an 11 versus 11 as well. Uh, or either I should say and um, yeah and here we go with the next one guys we have Drekiga Dan coming in for number two for the um, uh, 10v11 two star attempt right here so there goes zap quake and two one air defense look like, looks like we have a dragon attack so probably gonna come in from this top side because as you can see not a lot of point damage over here and also um, no air defenses, they are all at the bottom, so definitely a pretty interesting base, sort of guarding against the 11 vs 11, so maybe uh, the Hispania guys were a little bit scared of us, maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so there goes um, go some more loons to get that other archer tower out of the way, actually no black bombs right there, which is of course nice. They are going to lure the clan castle, so a, a baby dragon comes out, so I'm assuming this is some sort of uh, baby CC right here. There go some more loons onto that archer tower. So freeing up a little bit of percentage to maybe take care of with a baby dragon later on. Um, Queen is now onto the battlefield, so she's going to take out the baby dragon right here. Um, gets an elixir storage, that's good because the dragons will not have to burn through that. Takes care of the baby dragon with ease and then um, we are going to have to see where he's going to place the king. Maybe somewhere over here, yes there we go. King is coming in, going to create the other half of the funnel. And then he has a lot of time left for his nine dragons to work. Actually, ten. He has a one in the clan castle as well. I know that because I donated it to him. Um, he has a lot of time for his dragons to move towards the town hall and get that because percentage is not going to be an issue for this one. It looks like so. Bunch of goblins on the Valkyrie from the clan castle. All right. So that was another Valkyrie. So that was the rest of the clan castle. We have one more dragon over here for uh, looks like a couple of percent. And yeah, so there go the dragons. He has two rage spells left. So let's see if he places both right away. Now he's gonna wait with one of those for the town hall. 
37%. This may actually come close uh, on percentage. The dragons are flying a little bit crooked. But the queen should maybe aggro them back towards the town hall. Actually not looking too hot right now. Now they are moving towards the town hall. There goes one black bomb. The queen is shooting them. So yeah, looks a lot better now. And hopefully he can wrap up this two stuff for us. On number two, so one dragon is onto the town hall. He is fighting against an inferno tower and the sweeper and an archer tower now. That's unfortunate. And the eagle is locked onto him as well. Rip to Dan. Not gonna be a two star. Unfortunate. Pretty cool plan. Nice try, but also would have fallen short on percentage. So that's a bummer. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely think that live stuff is always pretty cool. So uh, definitely tell me how you like this style of video in the comment section below. Um, as I said, that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.